So I'm going to be covering my favorite Modern Warfare 2 weapon today in the VEL46 or MP7 if that's what you want to call it. Super aggressive, super fast paced SMG with a decent recoil pattern and a fast fire rate. Add all that together, it does make for a very good time on small maps. However, the damage range drop off mixed in between that. The way I have this set up, it's definitely not the best long range choice of SMG, but it feels amazing when it comes down to it. It feels like you can just sprint at people, hit fire, aim down sight, whatever you want to do, and you have the confidence to more or less win every gunfight you get into. Let's get into it. So I want to start here with a first attachment, which I'm going to call optional. We have a laser sight with the one milliwatt Artemis laser, which is aiming stability, AKA fire aiming stability. Back in Modern Warfare 2, fire aiming stability or visual recoil control was just aiming stability. So. That's what this attachment does. At the end of the day, you can go with a different laser sight that gives you aimed out sight speed, maybe a stock, maybe an optic. This is just my preferred laser sight here. So if you're undecided, give this a try and you'll see what I'm talking about. For rear grip, I'm going with the ZLR combat grip to give you some recoil control and gun kick without attachments like this. It does have a pretty wild recoil pattern, but this does help you control that at 7% across the board to gun kick horizontal and vertical recoil control. Over here to a magazine, I have the 30 round mag. As always, this is also a preference, but this attachment is rather important in my opinion, simply because of all the mobility, aim down sight speed and aggression you end up gaining with this attachment. You could go with the 40 if you want to, it's another good choice, but I'm gonna hide my camera. You can see why this attachment really is so important. It's going to be all the mobility you're gonna end up getting. I ended up hitting the wrong screen there, my apologies. But as you can see, we're gaining everything to mobility, ADS, sprint to fire, and you have a really fast reload on top of that. It's kind of like you have fast hands with this magazine. So at the end of the day, it is a preference, but you can see why I am running the 30 round mag here. For my under barrel, we're gonna be using the SL Skeletal Vertical Grip to give you aim down sight speed, vertical recoil control, gun kick control, and sprint to fire speed. Uh, what I like to call a well-rounded attachment, it's giving you a bunch of positives, especially in this particular case, things you do need to cover. So 7% to the gun kick, 8% to the vertical recoil control, 8% to the aim down sight speed, and 5% to the sprint to fire speed. When you look at all these statistics here, you can tell this is on par with a lot of the MW3 SMGs, and it's probably why I enjoy it so much. And the final attachment is the Trebuchet Break. That's gonna give you gun kick and recoil control and a lot at that. I know there's a lot of people that have this attachment bugged. So if you are one of those people and you can't run this, I would highly recommend using the Zem Compensated Flash Hider. It does a very good job as well. For those who do have it unlocked, it gives you 25% to the gun kick, 15% to the horizontal recoil control, and 15% to the vertical. But like I said, if you're one of those people that can't unlock this or have it bugged on your account, the Zem Compensator is a good option. So as always, here's all of your attachments on the screen. If you guys wanted to pause and copy it down, it does perform a lot like an MW3 SMG. So I think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun. It performs a lot like something like the Rival 9 in the sense that it's pretty good at medium range because the recoil pattern's low, but it has the fast fire rate, making it absolutely awesome at close range. Here is also the rest of the loadout on the screen as well, if you guys wanted to copy this down. So we're gonna be heading over to Das Gross, which I kind of forgot was even a thing. I forgot they added that with the reloaded update. And the map's pretty cool. It was my first time playing it. A little gloomy, pretty just, I don't know. It's just a remaster. And I like what they've been doing. If they're gonna remaster maps, I think they should take that approach more. Don't do like a one for one copy, make it a little different. Kind of like the, what they've done with Tetanus, with Rust and Spore Yard, with Scrap Yard. Change it up a bit. It feels like I'm playing a fresh new map when they kind of give it, you know, a little bit of a redesign. What do you guys think about that? Make sure you guys go down in the comment section. Let me know. Let's jump over into the gameplay. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoy. We are over on DOS Gross, the remake for DOS House. My first time seeing it. So I'm pumped I'm getting the chance to play it. That's for dang sure. This thing's kind of gory, but also really freaking cool. This is one of the cooler maps I think I've ever seen as far as remakes go. They've been doing a good job with these remakes. You gotta remember they did Tetanus, they did the one for Scrapyard. A lot of the remakes they're doing are super outlandish, but super cool at the same time. Yeah, that's not a fight I want. So I'm using the MP7 because this is a, you know, a small map and this gives me an opportunity. So if you, the MP7 is one of those weapons I kind of only use on small maps, you know? So it makes sense. This other team is very aggressive OBJ-wise. 
and I vibe with that. It just makes it a little challenging. I got an advance. I don't even know how I got a kill there. We're going to hit my VTOL quick. Put it right on the hill because see how many of them are on the hill there? Okay. I'm kind of teed off. You got to give me a second because I got to stay focused on this map. I got to stare at my freaking advanced UAV. That's how it works. Yeah, this is how this works, unfortunately. When I'm playing a map like this. What the hell was that? You see him lag? Oh, teammates got that unlocked. I'm going to change my approach here. Oh, well. This map's so chaotic. Let me emphasize, the map being chaotic is a good thing when I'm using a weapon like this, actually. It is a good thing. But <laughs> at the same time, I'm trying to get a DNA bomb. And when they're this aggressive, it becomes challenging to try to do that. Where is this guy? Okay. I'm spinning around like a top. I don't know what streak I'm on. Says it's an 18. I get it or did I just get the advanced I got the DNA bomb baby oh I almost crapped myself because I would have been two chokes in a row let's get this out I'm at 63 and you guys see how much time there is the visibility is a bit awkward on this map I'll say that much like the red tint is just different it's not like bad visibility it's awkward visibility I choked! Oh, I choked. I literally stopped shooting. Kill him. Good job. Nice. 
92. Advanced UAVs in again. Oh, I have another VTOL as well. I am so dead. Yup, yup, yup. This, bro, this is definition of chaos. Holy crap, I love it. These guys are all over the OBJ. Chaos. Ants UAV's back in. Well. I didn't think the uh, VTOL would actually go through that little room there. I didn't. I thought that was a closed room. Maybe it used to be in the old DOS house, but. Hundred twenty one. You see, this is the reason I don't like covering these maps too often. It's just so hard to talk. It's hard to have any kind of conversation on a map like this. Only because there's constant action, which is a good thing in theory. The constant action is a good thing, but I can't. I, there's no point to conversation, you know what I mean? Nice job, team. Got one down. All right, another VTOL. That's probably the last one we can lock in here, to be honest. Not even sure how I got that one. I got another DNA bomb. Holy crap. Hundred and freaking seventy. I think that's gonna end it too. I'm gonna try to get all my streaks and maybe get a few more, but I'm thinking that's gonna be it.
Get on the hill. Get on the hill. Hundred and seventy three man. I was hoping I could if I had a little more time, that was my potential at that two hundred plus. But one seventy three on DOS house is pretty dang good. A lot of fun.